family would like to thank all of you for being here today to honor our brother and to do the remembrances that he deserves at this particular time. Being the eldest in the family, I uh, was involved with my siblings from the time of their birth until the present time. And I've always admired, I called him my little brother, but when he was 16, he became just my brother because he had already outgrown me. But the reason I admired Gwen so much was I was there with him in his early years. We had a family that, where our father was more of a hindrance than he was a help. And he, Wynn, never, never lost his sense of humor and his sense of direction and went on to become a very successful businessman. When he was in high school one time, he, he uh, went to San Angelo Central High School, which I did before him, and one day he said, told me, and when he was about a junior in high school, he said, do you have any idea what it's like to be your little brother? <laughs> because people were always doing comparisons and making commentary to him about different things. And, and as he got into his teenage years, my, our wonderful uncles and aunts here in San Angelo helped him to get employment and he was always a very good worker. He was fearless. I remember he went to work for our Uncle Harry Reed and Aunt Clem in their cattle hauling business when he was just a, a teenager and did the work of a, of a seasoned man in that regard. And shortly after graduation from high school, he needed a change of environment and my wife and I brought him to Big Spring to live with us and got him a job with fat, uh, Merchants Fast Motor Lines and because he had some trucking background with my uncle and in the cattle industry, cattle hauling industry. And then he did a really good job with that. He saw an opportunity later to move to Midland and Odessa area and get in the the pump repair and downhole pump production business, which later led him into the chemical, uh, downhole chemical production end of the oil industry. And he was very successful with what he did. Uh, I think the good Lord sent us both to Midland in 1977. I joined Wynn in Midland at Midland College, and we spent 40 wonderful years together uh, living in Midland and being part of the Midland community. And many of you are here today that were, were part of that community as well. Quinn was a very hard worker. I never knew him to be uh, downhearted, even in terrible times that he experienced. He was always had a good attitude, positive attitude, and that was the reason that he was so successful. He had a keen interest in all of his friends and and all of the family, and everybody loved Wynn because of his very positive and gregarious attitude. Um, it's very difficult for me to go into all of the details, but he was just an outstanding very dedicated father and uh, and family member and friends to everyone. I don't think he ever saw anyone that he didn't consider his friend. And he was fearless in everything that he ever encountered and did a wonderful job. And I feel so blessed to have had him as my younger brother, <laughs> not little brother. <laughs> But thank you for being here and paying tribute to Wynn today. I think it's, it's, it's 
so refreshing to me to see many of you I haven't seen in a while. And as I was leaving Dunbar's restaurant last night, I saw this fellow and I thought he looked familiar and I went over and introduced myself and, and uh, of course he knew when. <laughs> and so um, just about every place that, I, that he ever lived, he had friends that enjoyed him and, and respected what he did with his life. Thank you.